<clears throat> I think so. So today I'm just going to load the save from where we put the two in. Um, and then if we need the backup save, we can. Just wear green and blend in so you're a floating head. I mean, right in the middle of the screen as well. I think that could be fun. Just like block the game with just my head. Feet. Uh, guys, if the game is too loud, again, just let me know. I'll adjust the volume. It's a bit loud for me, but it seems to be okay for you guys, so I'll just turn it down my end. But as I say, if it's loud for you, please let me know. Do it for Halloween. The thing is, is um, as you can tell behind me, I don't actually have a uh, a wall to put it on. But have you guys seen those green screens that you can put on your chair? Like you fix, uh, fix you fix it to the to your chair and. And it's sort of like just behind it, which could be quite cool, I suppose. But um, I think it was this one. But I've heard mixed, uh, what's the word? Conflict. I've heard different things about what people feel about them. Uh, some people say they're really good and then other people say they're not very good at all. Daniela in here? Oh, she's not in here. Sick. Oh, I need to press F9, sorry. There we go, that looks better. Uh, interesting, but I'm not a fan of mixed reviews. Yeah, me neither. It often makes me think, like... <laughs> is it... Oh. What save is this, then? Oh, okay. This is a save where... Oh, does it... Right, let me just double check then. Maybe when you load the game, it gives you 10 again. Like 10 opportunities again. To use the thing. I've been thinking about this game. I was actually talking to my family about this game. Come on. I was actually talking to my family about the puzzle um, that we were unable to solve. Come on. Good boy. Good mm -hmm. boy. I was saying that it's like a sort of crossword puzzle and uh, we're stuck. You for fuck's sake keep up. I know. He takes so long. Ah, okay. So it seems to reset the puzzle until you solve it. Unless this is just a save that... Huey, you nearly cockblocked me there. My dude. Actually, unless this is a save where we haven't done anything. Did he eat it? What the hell? Maybe this is a too early save that I've loaded. I mean, really, we didn't do anything. I don't <gasps> shit. Really, we didn't do anything anyway, so it's not the end of the world. If it is, because it just gives us more chances to put the words in these things' mouth. I do need to get a piece. I'm gonna light relight this though. So let's just do that very quickly. And then I need to get my piece of paper and we need to solve it. But other than that, while we're doing all that, how's everybody's month? What are we on? Wednesday. How's everybody's Wednesday been? Has it been good? What have you guys been up to? They are some jiggle physics. <gasps> That's really annoying. It is Wednesday. It is. How did you find Starview yesterday? Uh, and streaming that mistake. Did you enjoy it? How did you find it? Oh, whoa. Maybe I should stand here. 
don't know, out of ten, how was it? No, oh for fuck, oh, fuck it, I'll do it later. Stupid thing. Hello. Who jumped? Sour flizz. Interesting sound design, I think. Is the coast clear though? Oh. Come on. Hopefully she just walks past and doesn't even come up here. Just like that. Just do a big loop, I guess. Let's loop her. Some sick beats when you're being chased. The music for Daniela's uh, pursuing music is really good, huh? It's really good. Oh, she's still in here. Okay, let's just let her go away then, because we kind of yes. need to be in that area. Yes. Still can't shut doors, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Poor Huey, I know. I hate it when he yelps, it's horrible. Oh, right, yes, I need to get my piece of paper because we need to solve this, uh, this thing. Kiwi. I'm gonna sneeze, I'm sorry. Chew, I couldn't get to my Chew, mute button in time. Hachu. Let me get my piece of paper so I can do some solving of puzzles.com. Bless you, thank you very much. Bless you, bless you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Sorry, I'm on my be right back screen. Just was getting some paper. Thank you for the bless yous, I appreciate that. Sorry I couldn't mute my mic in time. Sorry, it crept up on me. Okay, I've sort of run out of room on my piece of paper. M-E-R-C-U-R-Y salt and then we were left with a word that we weren't sure or a letter i should say that we weren't sure how to solve which is that you the bless of the you thank you very much may god be on your side in these trying times miss sneezer thank you <laughs> bless is with us all i bless you all <laughs> Aw, you guys are being so kind to this, this evening thank you all Right, what I would quite like to do is work out how I got salt, because I feel like that will help. May the bless be with you. Yes, I, oh my god, that would be so cool if we said that when people sneeze. Oh, shut up, Fiona, you fucking hoe. <laughs> now look what you did. This is kind of 
kind of like a safe room, I think. She, I mean, she could prove me wrong here and come straight in, but hey. Hey, ho, there she goes. You imagine people sneeze and you're like, may the blessed be with you. Petition that we do that. There's no music. <laughs> A deeper underlying meaning. What's it called? The three spiritual substances. Oh, well, yeah, because I suppose that's the three words we're looking for. By the way, the stuff on my project that might need your immersive skills is now ready for action if you're willing to do it. Yo! Yo! This is two yo's right now. The three spiritual substances piss, shed, and come. Oh my god i will try those three things um so first yo uh sip yeah absolutely um maybe on the weekend i can lend you my voice and i will leave it at that um x as well oh my god coming in with the 25 month sub oh my god thank you so much for resubscribing i really appreciate it how are you doing i didn't even see what my face was this time what was the what was the thing I will try the piss should and come uh, in the snakes. We'll see if that works. <laughs> How are we all today? How are we? How are we? Have you been working on your car? What's What's been happening? But thank you so much for resubscribing for 25 months. I really appreciate it. 25 months. It's insane that it's been that long. I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yes, I'm very well, thank you for asking. Uh, just trying to solve this, this here puzzle that this lady is stopping me. <gasps> oh god, she did a 360 turn. Nice, Fiona. Cleaning your dad's car, yo, the inside or the outside or both. Both, yo, that's a full service. You should start charging for that X. She's like a robot, Miss Fiona. And then she makes that like rattling sound or, or like a doll. Yo, we have no choice but to stand. Did we solve the word puzzle? We did not. <laughs> Hi, Rasky, how are you? Right, let's let her get out of here. Let me say Huey, good boy. Good boy. Let's have hugs. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, I can't because he's in an animation. How's your Wednesday been, Rasky? You had another day off, didn't you? Well, actually, I'm selling the car and getting a 50% cut. Okay. Then, yo. <laughs> Valley sound. Oh my god. Valley girl attempts to solve the word puzzle. Oh my god. Um. Okay. So, we have mercury. We have salt. And the thing we are looking for is like a three letter word but we don't know what it is we don't and there's a number puzzle too that is total like bs because i'm just so shitty at like math and numerical puzzles and this hoe keeps chasing me and i can't solve it excuse me That's sick about the 50% cut though. That's sick. She's really on our butts today. Wow, she's like relentless. Can you fuck off? Chewy. Chewy. 
we haven't even had a chance to look at the puzzle Rafi to be honest because she's been on our ass like this whole time She hasn't got off us since we've started playing, I'll be honest with you. We have been vibing though, that's true. Has she guys though? She's literally been on us the whole time and hasn't given us a chance to solve this. I'm just gonna try and solve the puzzle with my piece of paper while she's chasing us then I guess. Bye, slot. Slot. <laughs> Hi, Dim. How are you? What are you up to? Are you still cleaning your figures? Hi, Dim Dim. Did that ages ago. <clears throat> you having a big spring clean or anything? Right, so 11 and 4 gave us the Yes, satisfying, I can imagine. We're still stuck on this puzzle. You guys are gonna have to like keep me company while I'm trying to solve it. Okay, so 11 and 4 was how we got ALT, because they're all 11 and 4. Hurand, what is that? Oh, Sip, was you here last stream? So you don't know about, or do you know about this uh, puzzle? Was you here? I know nothing about no damn puzzle. Okay, so we have a crossword style puzzle with a numerical thing around the outside. We have two of the words that we need to get. Um, we have mercury and salt. But we need one more spiritual substance. It starts with an S and ends with a C. But we're trying to work out what it means. Oh, I can do this. Okay, let me try it. Jeg, jeg, skal, klare, de, dete. Jeg, skal, klare, dete. Klar. Jeg, skal, klare, dete. I'm probably saying that so wrong. <laughs> I can do this. Uh, so no sulfur. No, because it's a, it's got a, So I'll show you why it's a three less word. Um, and anyone else who wasn't here last stream. I don't know if anyone else wasn't here last stream. But I will absolutely uh, catch you guys up on our puzzle. If she'll let me. Because she keeps interrupting us. I, that, I, I, I'm going to go by that ha-ha. I messed it up. <laughs> but I did. I did my best. Oh, this thing. Can you can you fuck off, please? Thank you. So look, if you look here, we have 
like a formation, which is like a H and uh, or a backwards H, I should say. Isn't it? Yeah, that is a backwards H. Thank you for contributing oranges. I think Rasky contributed some as well earlier, but I didn't say thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Oh, how do you pronounce that word then? If if that was the only word. Dite? 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 I already beat the puzzle and I didn't even see it. Um, okay, I just know the answer. Um, there is like a numerical thing around the edge as well. Um, now, most of them have like a, a number in the other puzzles. So like the way we got Mercury was with the one and the seven and like using it as like a coordinate like that. But the U in the middle of the third the three letter word we're looking for which is the letter we're looking for is a three and a one but there is no three on the other one yeah 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 go back <laughs> all right i'll go back in a sec like that Dette. Dette. I'm going to run straight into her, aren't I? Did they? It's a Japanese thing. Oh, okay. That sounded more good. Yay! Well, thank you for teaching me. I appreciate it. And I do believe I can do it. Are you sure these correlate? This one may just be an example of how to solve the next one. Interesting point of view. In what way? Oops. Maybe it's sack. Let's make our plates that we know work while we're trying to figure it out. Sip, you're not supposed to Spoil the puzzle, good sir. How dare you? Oops. I'm just as clueless as you are, but isn't it supposed to be a three letter word? If mercury and so oh, and by the way, this is how we know that mercury and salt uh, work. Actually, I did want to do something that I was thinking about, um, Come on. I was thinking about this while I was off stream, that I wonder if we try and put one of the plates that the other snakes accepted last time in its mouth, if it'll accept it in the top one. Hi, Huey. Come on. Spoolie. Let's see if we can use it. Oh, the other two have to be like... Uh, in the mouth, I think. Yeah, I think they have to be in there. What? Have you seen any other words in there? It's the only word that in there that has other possibilities. Do you have an honest question? Um, well, there are other words that people saw in there that are something to do with alchemy and like substances and stuff that I didn't know. Um, but they're all more than three letters. Now, as I say, those that's how we know that they're the right answers, by the way. Um, now, 
this makes sense because Mercury did correlate with that long letter on the uh, long word on the right because it was made up of one and seven, one and seven. Like, can you see like the the two numbers there? How did we get C? Three and seven. Give me a sec. Oh. She had a thought, but I think we've already seen it. I think I loaded a very early save. But it's not a three letter word, Sip. Why do you think it, like, do you know what I mean? Like, if the others were the same number of letters, it doesn't make sense that it would be sulfur. Because sulfur is six letters, not three. We tried fur, actually. We did try fur. Um, where are the seeds? There is a zero and an eleven. There is a eleven and a one. And that's it. So how on earth? Oh no, there's one there as well. Eleven and a seven. The sun row had three next to it and the sun had three letters. Sulfur has six and it's... I mean, if you've spoiled the puzzle, Sip, you're going to get banned. Because that counts as backseating. So... Get ready with the ban hammer, boys. <laughs> Bye. If it, I mean, if it's right, you're getting banned, boys. Say your goodbyes to Sip. Yui. Say your byes, everyone. The <laughs> band. <laughs> See how nobody wants it even to say goodbye to me. It's because they don't want you to go, Sip. That's why. They're like, please don't make it so kitty. Come on. I need dog eye, I think. Come on. Huey. Come on. <laughs> oh, Fucking poo off. Good sir. <laughs> Have a nice day. Just gone. I'd ban you for sneezing. Sip scream. Right. Sip, get ready. If it closes its mouth. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, upskirt. Huey. Huey. If you get to the end of the game. Nah, sip, sip. Nah, we'll, we'll see if, if, if you've backseated here. Whoa, parkour. Guys, say your goodbyes to Sip. You're fucking banned, son. I know you've done this part before. It was a good run. <laughs> no, we actually haven't. Uh, you you absolutely just uh, backseated. But hey, it is what it is. Um, we're just gonna have to ban you now. I saw it. I haven't. Can you explain that though? The, I mean, obviously you didn't know the solution and that was your guess, which was very clever. And um, I know it sort of counted as a backseat. It would have been nice if I could have sold it, but it is what it is. I'm not, I'm not actually upset by the way. Um, oh dear. 
oh dear but um I, that was quite interesting what you said about the six thing oh she won't climb it while she's chasing me I need you to fight this lady, please. Help! 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 Huey, stop growling and go and get her. Oh, thank God she shut the door. Huey, go get her, dog. Huey. Oh my gosh, oh. Huey. Oh, he missed. Unlucky. You tried it. Lamal rolls up sleeve. No, not you, Rasky. I meant sit. <laughs> it's a typical Japanese crossword puzzle thing. Then how the heck am I supposed to know that? The numbers above the grid were the numbers of letters in the solution word. Wait, hang on. Let me just get... Oh, for fuck's sake, Daniela. Can you fuck off? I'm trying to learn how we solve the puzzle. Wait. I'm missing some of chat. That's why I... Daniela, leave me alone. Por favor. Bitte. Leave me alone, bitte. Right, hopefully she won't find me in here. The numbers above the grid were the number of letters that the solution word has in that row. What did you... See, the thing is though, is if you don't know that Japanese crossword technique, that kind of puts you at a slight disadvantage. So what do their crosswords do? As someone who's never done a Japanese crossword in my life, <laughs> like ever, I'm so maybe, I mean, I was lucky to get the mercury and the salt then. I guess from Norway, I was thinking about it. What's the Japanese crossword? I don't know. Yeah, of course. Um, That's what, Sip said. I feel kind of better that I wasn't able to solve it. Because it seems... Two words from those numbers so you were on the right track, but you just had the wrong logic. Okay, so everyone knew it. Great. Okay, I'm just thick eye streamer. Cool. Yeah, let's go climb the ice then, shall we? Oh, can you fuck off? Oh, Huey won't be able to come up there with me. Yes. No. Yes. I had no idea about the answer. I promise. Oh, you've already played it before, so I know you did. <laughs> New area to explore. Sorry, Huey, you're going to have to wait for a minute. Stay. Day. But how does alchemy knowledge lead you to that answer? I don't understand that. Oh, I didn't mean to. 
skip through that. Oh, I can read it as many times as I want. That's okay. And also I asked not sulfur and you said no, so I thought you had tried that already. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Norwegian, I knew you knew. <laughs> and then I was like, but it must be, but if you insist. <laughs> Put in the unban request for the, your banned son. How does a knowledge of alchemy help you in that one? I don't know. I just I just feel really stupid now because everybody else knew it. <laughs> I have decided to summon that renowned master alchemist to the castle. There is talk that the Count has used a technique known as the dry method to obtain eternal life. Some may consider it sac sacrilege, but with the Lord's thankless cooperation, co operation, I will base my research off any findings obtained through their generous sacrifices. November 16th, 1822. Eternal life obtained through the power of the dry method seems to carry no side effects as it stands. The Lord is showing no effects of aging. Even through his, though his skin is cracked, his flesh rotten and his entrails liquefied, it appears that death will not be visiting him anytime soon. However, I will carry on with my research. After all, in my case, time actually is on my side. The clue it gives you is one of the original tenets or I guess ideas of medieval alchemy. Alchemy. What, so from, wait, the clue it gave you is one of my, the original tenet, or I guess ideas of medieval alchemy. So what, the, the three spiritual thing you mean? This, this, the three, what was it? Spiritual substances. You just know off by heart that it is sulfur, mercury and salt. There were thought to be able to be combined into a human soul. Well, way to make me feel stupid, guys. You all knowing it, and me just sitting there like an absolute wally. Let me turn my light on. Hey, Alec, how are you? already better anyway I don't think I even really need to touch it got very dark in here all of a sudden didn't it oh I missed the end what does it say oh my interest towards my dry method research is one warning but I shall write this formula as well as the results of my research here. A group of followers and I have calmed the four flames which symbolize the basic elements. Thusly, the alchemic chain has been ruptured and the spirit has been eternally freed from the body. Oh, okay. Go to party like it's 1898, yo. <laughs> um, it's getting dark. I know, Alec, I know. Um, you could see a bunch of words on the grid, so I suppose you could bro brute force it. Not really, because you had a limited amount of um, plates that you could use on the on the typewriter. What did that say? There's something on top of the step ladder, but I bet if I shake it a bit, I can get the item down. Can I kick? Yo, yo, yo. I think puzzles in video games that expect you to have some sort of prior knowledge, I don't know, I'm a bit, <sighs> I mean there is obviously a way that you can solve it if you think about it in the sense of a 
of a, I mean a sip said a Japanese crossword that you associate the numbers with a different thing. But as someone who's only ever done crosswords from this kind of, like, part of the neck of the woods, I suppose it kind of, I don't know, I don't know. I think it, previous knowledge puzzles in video games are, like, not the one for me. Uh, now, you were just overthinking as per usual. One day there will be a puzzle as complex as you make it and yourself that easy peasy. <laughs> oh, big true, it was limited. Yeah, it was. Yo, kick. Uh... There is a couple of ways to solve the puzzle. I think it just depends on how you think. Yeah, I, it's obviously me. Um, I don't know. I think I, I beat myself up when I f it makes me feel dumb. I don't know. <laughs> it's my own insecurity. I just feel like when I'm the only one that doesn't seem to get it, I just feel really stupid. <laughs> Did some yard work fixing the garden, otherwise it's a bit chilly day, so staying indoors, but uh, though the sun was shining. Yeah, it's been really nice here today as well, actually, but I've been at work, so I wasn't able to enjoy it. But after a couple of plus 18, three days, something like that, 10, yeah, it it does, you're right. Did you figure out the word, what was it? It was sulfur, Morgie, and I didn't figure it out, it was, it was a sort of sip guessed it and we tried it and it was right and I'm sort of feeling a little bit dumb now because now everyone's revealed that they all knew it <laughs> and it was just me <laughs> so now I feel a little bit um like the dunce of the class I unlocked the door where is this gonna take us oh nowhere we want to be good sir one you know how to do the actual crossword two the three mm. elements piss shit and come just recognize words in general. <laughs> there's um there's actually it reminds me there is a um a puzzle in Silent Hill 3 on hard mode that um that expects you to know <laughs> some of Shakespeare's stories. Which, obviously, if you don't know Shakespeare's work, you're not going to know it. And I, it's obviously a lot worse than, than that, because that there are, like, other ways you can use the numbers to solve it and things like that. I mean, that's a lot better than the, uh, than the, the, the Silent Hill 3 puzzle, but there is a, a puzzle in Silent Hill 3 that expects you to know the works of Shakespeare. Which is harsh. Oh no, you got the first two though, to be honest, there were no clues, so you did quite well. Well, thank you, Morgie, I appreciate it. <laughs> um, I, just, I, I beat myself up a little bit. I suppose I do overthink stuff, maybe, uh, puzzle-wise. There's still the issue of the water I can hear sloshing about everywhere. Oh, we haven't used that mirror yet. Cool. Hopefully she gets stuck on that because I kind of wanted to be back upstairs where I was but she's made me run all this way downloaded Silent Hill 2 and 3 on an emulator <gasps> yay this is your first experience with it right I think if I remember you saying from last stream that you've never played them before <gasps> Silent Hill 2 is my favourite game of all time and if I will, if I play it on stream, I will always do an in-depth story playthrough and tell you all about it, because <laughs> I love it. It was a tricky puzzle. If you were thinking outside the box, I think you would get it, but you were too into the number three. Yeah, I guess so. I just, I fucked up, guys. I'm sorry. That's good. <laughs> oh, I do. I have done a story playthrough of them. Um, Silent Hill 2 and it was a lot of fun I loved talking I don't know if anyone was there for it was anyone here there for the story playthrough of Silent Hill 2 that I did a while ago now and it was really fun like you guys like asking me questions and like we were all like speculating what different things could symbolize and stuff right did we do a full check of the library have we forgotten anything Anything, anything. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Huey. Should 
should I play first Silent Hill 2 or can I skip it? Um, I actually only played Silent Hill 1 for the first time about... when was it? I played it on my PS Vita about two years ago I want to say and um... oh that's... that's all? But, oh we got a key! oh yes of course we picked up a key um, and I, it put me off because of how old it looked. I was like, oh, it's too dated, it's too old, I can't play it. Honestly, one of the best games I've ever played, and I will recommend if you can look past the, uh, the older, um, graphics and things, it's one of the best experiences I have, have ever had playing a video game. So if you can play it, I would. Uh, I actually would say that the order of my favourite games and I, I is Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 1 and then Silent Hill 3, but they're all really good. So it's, it is hard to label them. Rings a bell. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember some of you were there and, and we, we had a lot of fun because everybody was like sort of speculating what certain things could mean and it was just really good. It was a really fun and good time and I, I enjoyed it. Okay, so it's not the Jupiter key. Uh, I don't remember another locked door anywhere. Do I? Let's just run around the map, I guess. This is the water room. No door here. Oh, uh, mm hmm. Okay, this says that the one on the right is the truth and the one on the left is deception. When the shroud of deception is lifted, the fog will fade and the hidden path will make itself known. So that's telling me that if this is the door that we can unlock, we should unlock this one first. I think that is actually the... the there's like an astrology symbol for Jupiter and I, I want to say it, it might be this. I think Jupiter is... Oh yeah, that it's the same pattern on the key. You can see the key. Cool. So I think I have to solve this room first. Ah. We've got a wardrobe to hide in. Brilliant. You've also got new thought in comment when you were reading the paper. I think it was from um, one that we already had, but because I reloaded an old save, I just left it. Uh, Oliver's calming oh that piece of paper calming the flame it sounds like these are smaller steps to a larger process I wonder what it's for probably eternal life from a chessboard here are of all places guess they use this to take their mind off things oh ew oh I hate it thanks um oh okay people I don't People who might be new here or are lurking and have never been in the stream before. I have a massive, like, in real life, just aversion to waxwork figures. And there are a lot of figures in this game. <laughs> um, and they look really good as well. Like, for a PlayStation 2 game, they look amazing. Awesome. I might see if I can find it later. Totally do. If you can find it, do it. You might need another, a different emulator to the PlayStation 2 one. Wasn't that the one where you were trying to get the two pyramid heads to kill each other towards the end? Yeah, because we played Silent Hill 2 on hard mode for the first time, and uh, the game's fine. And then the the si the final sorry fight between the two pyramid heads is like it's like takes a really long time because they have like a massive health pool. Hey, how's it going? Hi, she's not controlling. How are you doing today? A pair of creepy wax figures if these things aren't going to come to life like in the movies right i will cry if they do a device for distilling things sick an industrial sized kiln it burns fiery hot 
A massive hourglass turned in a sober would be quite a task. Okay, is she gonna come soon? Because you're growling. Yeah, she is. Uh, have you played all Silent Hill games? Which was your favourite in order? Uh, the only Silent Hill games I haven't played is Silent Hill 4 and the dungeon crawler Silent Hill, but I can't remember what it's called now. And I never got to play the one on the Wii. I think uh, Shad Memories, I think it's called. But yeah, I've played all of the others. Um, Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill... One Silent Hill three, Silent, and then after that it was not Team Silent anyway. So ugh, it's the best of a bad bunch. I would say Silent Hill Homecoming because I think the story of Silent Hill Homecoming is really good, but the execution was just not very good. Um, and Pyramid Head does like some weird cameo that is just like no <laughs> but when i first played silent hill homecoming i i hadn't played silent hill 2 so i didn't know how bad that actually was until i played silent hill 2 and i was like okay i get why people were pissed at this game now um silent hill origins uh i think there was a quite a cool concept with the going through the mirrors in that game but then at the same time i wasn't a fan of going through the mirrors because it kind of took away from the um so part of the fun of silent hill is you don't know when the the other world is going to take over or like uh the nightmare world so being able to choose when you go in and out but i think there's a similar situation in um clock tower 3 from the little knowledge i have of it uh kitties and then D downpour was just it had some ideas but the execution again was just yuck gross and I can't remember if I've played any other Silent Hills. Uh, Kitty won't step foot in Madame Two Swords. I see. I did go to Madame Two Swords, and it didn't bother me that much. It's when they're creepy, I think. But if I had to walk around Madame Two Swords by myself, oh gosh, no. I was only brave because there were lots of people there. <laughs> that confirms movies exist in this universe. Why? What? What happened? I'm good. Tired. Being out in the world is tiring. How did the word search? one go oh Pippa don't bring it up everybody knew how to solve it except me so I just I feel like an absolute friggin idiot ah <laughs> oh, interesting it's the same room but like opposite like a mirror one is truth, one is lie. This is the truth one. Room on the other side seems to have been designed in a symmetrical match to this one. However, there is something different about the room. Something doesn't feel right. Yes. Maybe we have to make the other room match this room. Because this is truth. for trouble and make it double oh she said movies oh <laughs> oh yeah team silent was the ones who did the first uh four games and then okay what the fuck is that yui can you come, come here on. yui come on I might need you to attack Come whatever on. that sound is. Oh no, sorry, I didn't bring it up. Never mentioned it. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, it, I'm sort of kidding. Uh, Sip uh, got... He guessed what it could be. Um, and then after we tried his solution, um, everyone was like, oh yeah, like I have a previous uh, knowledge of alchemy and I, I've, I've done... Uh, crosswords with this before and I was just like oh I'm the idiot <laughs> and now he is banned yes he is banned that's why you won't see a sip in chat uh, so this is the lie side so the lie so if we interact with things on this side 
now. No? I don't get it then, because look, so for example, these are touching each other in the other room. So let me go and see what it does if I move it. Feels bad, man. Why do you feel bad, man? Feels, feels weird. Uh, yes. Can we move his arm off him, maybe? Uh-oh, what's happening? Did someone just move? I'm so confused what's happening here. What What is going on? What moved? What was the last word? It was sulfur. Because apparently... Okay, so the ways... From what people are saying, the ways you solved that was... You either knew the three spiritual substances from knowing alchemy. And they are the three ingredients to make a human soul. Mercury, salt and sulfur or there is a the numerical puzzle around the outside was the amount of letters in the word i think i think that's what you guys said right am i am i describing this right so the amount of letters in the word so because it was actually six for sulfur I don't have enough fingers you know that it's because so I don't fuck, I actually don't even get it even though they explained it to me to be honest the room on the other side seems to have been designed in a, oh I thought I had another uh, comment but let me go and see what that did to the other side did you hear perch totally hide in the closet she was, she was in the room with me. She was just uh, stoking the fire. Look at her. Oh, okay, so we have to match the other side. So we've got, oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do this. I meant to look at the hourglass because I think it's upside down in the other room. I'll watch the bob back too. Oh no, it's okay. I just said, uh, I just, I don't think I ever would have been able to work it out. So it's probably better that you guys told me. Hello. Oh, she's got a new instrument now, has she? Fun. Thank you for contributing some oranges to the 2013 challenge. I appreciate it. Mm. Mm. Yo, she's hot and plays with fire 10 out of 10. <laughs> now she is stronger. I, she seems a lot stronger. Does she just forget she's chasing you and goes back to being a maid? Sometimes. We fucking simp. Mm, yes, they hot brand. <laughs> she's gonna come for us boys. Can you leave? Let's just give it a minute because she might come back. Brand me queen. I mean, she still has to do her job. She just wants you dead as a hobby. It's like a side hobby that she's got going on. I remember the hourglass hour was upside down in the other room. So let's turn that over. Oh, we get like a event cutscene every time. The, the boobies in this game are ridiculous, by the way. Can we just talk about how ridiculously gravity-defying the boobies are? Uh, let me just check. Uh, it's on the left side, so let's just check. go back and check that.
I'm actually trying to solve a puzzle, Daniela, if you could just fuck off. Um, I guess she still does or she gets fucking bitch slapped by a hooded man. Maybe. Sorry. Yeah, because he was slapping her, wasn't he? Yeah, maybe that's why if she doesn't clean, like, she gets in trouble. Sorry, no. <laughs> the jiggle physics, though. Jiggle physics are pushed a little bit here. I mean the gravity defying and, and the shape of them. Like... They're a, they're a funny shape. Come on now, Kitty. The boobies are accurate. All boobies bounce up and down all the time. They are literally, like, um, constantly bouncing. It was on the other side. It was on the left side. Can I? Oh, I have to go back and interact with the other room. Right. So let me just double check. It is from this side. It is on the right hand side. So we want it to be on the right hand side so if it's on the left hand side we need to move it over i guess i don't know i thought this was the lie room so i'm surprised we're doing this if you went to the closet when i told you she would have jumped out of the closet oh shit! that's terrifying <laughs> Watch out, we have a boob expert over here. <laughs> she just locked the fucking door. Wait, what? This locks the door? I thought she came in and locked the door. Because it was already... No, wait, I don't... I'm starting to get a bit confused about this game now. So this is an insta-death, I guess. Okay, so this kind of does remind me of Song of Horror in a way, but... Okay. I guess. <laughs> Gotta love those moths. Kill them with fire. Right, let's work out why we died, because... I don't really get it. Because I locked the door? Because... It was... On the opposite side? I don't actually quite know. Ew! <laughs> Ew! Destiny to die by the bugs. Death by bugs. Do you want an answer to that question? Uh, it was probably, no, it was rhetorical, sorry. I know that's really confusing. God, Daniela, fuck off, please. There you go. Huey, please, just bite her once. Just once. Huey. It would be absolutely fantastic Huey. if you could bite her once. Just once, please. Huey. Please. Yeah. Just once. She's 
can fight, probably find me. If I solve the puzzle, Norwegian, this game's clearly becoming too um, complicated for me. Locking doors is one of the main causes of death in the UK, Kitty. How do you not know this? It's in the news. Death by moth as well, Morgie, you are right. See if we can hide. <gasps> You're starting to get on my nerves, madam. Oh gosh, this is a dead end. I forgot this was the dead end. Shh. Oh! Them things are so annoying. it though. Can we get in here and hide in the cupboard maybe? Oh, okay. Oh she's slow. <laughs> she moves. Funny. Looks good though, doesn't it? Oh nice, good boy Huey. Yeah. Like it looks spooky, huh? <laughs> He's gonna re. No, I'm not gonna re. <laughs> that scream, though. She, yeah, when she screams, when she sees the Napa, she doesn't like her reflection. Re. No, I'm not gonna re. I'm not even, like, annoyed that she keeps turning up. It's just, um, I wanna solve the puzzle, you know? When I tell her to fuck off, it's in, it's in, it's with love. Uh huh. We did it. We tricked her. Right. Okay. Let's open both the doors. Let's unlock them both. Oh. I just want to solve the puzzle, madam. And now she's got to do her walking around thing again. Thank you so much for gifting the sub to Ghosty Naps. Thank you so much. 46 subscriptions to this channel. That is insane. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your mistake. Napa, enjoy your subscription. Thank you very much for mistake. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some love for mistake in the chat? I was a mutated pet. I know, right? <laughs> thank you, mistake. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mistake's in a good mood because Daniela's on the screen. She's just like, yards. Yes. 
So maybe it is like a mirror and things that are on left and right don't need to move. Maybe the click, you have to put it back straight away. It's like a way to say, no, that's not what you want to do, you know? But we know that the hourglass and the mains, you can move them. Thank you, mistake. Uh, yeah, now for enjoy your emotes and your ad free viewing. Enjoy, enjoy. Whoa, 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 whoa. We can skip this. We've seen it. Right, let's check the chessboard next, I guess. Wait, what was the thing I was going to go over and... Was there anything over here? No. Let's, okay, let's move this way then and check the distiller. You guys have been so generous tonight with your time and like we've had a couple of a subscriptions too. Thank you very much. A device for distilling things. Is anything different? Let's just go check. That looks the same to me. Could be wrong, but... This feels like in Metal Gear Solid where you have to run between the hot and the cold room. But, like, on a smaller scale, obviously. Oh gosh, how am I supposed to remember that off the top of my head, where everything is? What? I'm taking a picture of it. I was going to draw it all out, but no thanks. No thanks. We're living in 2021, guys. wondering what kind of liquid is inside. Hmm. Does that mean that it's different on this side perhaps? Goody, I have a joke for you. What kind of factory makes okay products? A satisfactory. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Thank you, Napa. Very good. Very funny. Okay, that one's already in the wrong place. It needs to go down. So I think it's safe to say that these are incorrect. The others are in the right place, though. There's just one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what about here? No. Good you boy. can't take a pic because the woman doesn't have a camera. That's true, we need to be immersed, boys and girls. Right, the three wrongs. Oh, okay, the right path leaves. So there's three. So we did it. We did the mannequins. We did the hourglass. And we did the chest 
forward. So where does it open now? The right path leads to the truth while the left leads to deception. When the shroud of deception is lifted, the fog will fade and a hidden path will make itself known. Perhaps it's the water path. That was my original uh, guess. Let's go and save it very, very quickly. Oh, You know what, ever since I played Code Veronica and my brother soft locked himself in Code Veronica, I just make multiple saves in every game I play now. Yay, I made a funny. It was very good. It was very funny. I do like me a good joke. Uh this way. Come on. Oh, there's someone I can pick up. I forgot to grab that when she was chasing me. Yo! We got things. There we go. See? When I'm not overthinking stuff, I, I can use the big brain. It's very rare, but Huey, can you can you come on, please? Come on. I need ya. Nearly made me run into that dog. <gasps> yep, thanks. What was that? Was that a sound glitch or was that in the game? Kitty has a big brain. I'm on your teacher's levels. What do you mean? Oh, you've got the puzzle. I did. Uh, so it was the three things and uh, the three things were the mannequins, the hourglass and the, uh, the, the, the chessboard. And then it said that a hidden path would reveal itself. Uh, dead spirit craving for life, crawling back from the underworld, sip of flesh, fresh flowing lifeblood. Hang on. Dead spirit craving for life, crawling back from the underworld. Sip, you're in this game by the way, of the fresh flowing lifeblood when your thirst is quenched. Return to the darkness from whence you came. That reminds me, I am quite thirsty. So guys, take a little sip from your own water bottle. Hydrate yourself. Yeah, I, I understood why Norwegian. I guess that was why. And I'm guessing if I switched it back, I would have been okay, but I wanted to see if the door locked because I thought it might be a way to like avoid Daniela. My bad. It's too dark to see. It looks like there could be something in the back. Focus your eyesight on the object. What if there is something staring back at me? Guys, what do you think? Should I do it? I did just save it. A stretch break. Oh dear. Um, I should pause it because it sounds like someone's going to come and get me. Thank you for redeeming stretch break. I appreciate it. Guys, if you have not stretched from your computer today, now is a good time. Now is a good time to get up and stretch, stretch, stretch. Get some stretching. <laughs> My school geography teacher, which was my main teacher, her name was Daniela, and she hated me. I'm not going to say anything. I'm sorry she didn't like you. I always think that if I look into a dark hallway, there's someone looking back at me. Yeah, so this is like nightmare, m nightmare fuel. Like I'm imagining like a face just slowly creeping out of the darkness. I'm going to have to look because I... Did just save it and I am curious to know if it'll kill me. <laughs> uh, while we're stretching guys, can I just take a, 
moment as well to say Napa thank you for the host this evening and X a mistake thank you so much well X thank you for resubscribing a mistake thank you for gifting a subscription to Ghosty Naps I appreciate it and I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight <laughs> sorry don't look when we look in there don't look I should probably do some yoga at the end of the uh, stream today. I have a question, the thing for 700 channel points, is it your language or mine? Your language, Gabrielle. Oh, that feels better. Thank you very much for the stretch break. Hi, cool. Right, let's look at this. I'm actually kind of scared. Look, if we die, we save this, okay. <gasps> oh, that's pretty cool. She's coming, but I'm just staring at this hand right now. Go! <laughs> Oh, you can go in there, I think. But I can't do it because Danielle's turned up. <laughs> go on, Huey. Look at the hand just going off in the background. She's coming. Oh. Anna, oop, looks away. Did you, you didn't see, did you? It was a hand that came out of the darkness. I want to go in there because it's beck beckoning me in and I want to see what happens if I go in with it. But Daniela came. Unlucky there, do the Daniela dab. Thank you, Morgie. <laughs> what, oh my God, that was very lewd. Guys, that was very lewd and please don't ban me, Twitch. Especially the beginning part, I was like, what the fuck? Excuse me. I want to go and see what the hand has to say. It was a little gay. It's okay. <laughs> Is this gay? <laughs> Twitch bang in common. Yeah, we spoke about what the uh, the game over thing means. Can you not, please? Thank you. <gasps> I want to go in there. It doesn't seem too terribly dangerous, really. But I get the feeling that if I just go around poking my hands in places they shouldn't be, I could be sucked on right in. But it's asking me to come in. It wants something. There are traces as if something has recently been ripped to shreds here. It looks rather dried out, but I think it's a plant of sorts. Okay, so it wants a plant. Fab. Fabulosa. Oh my god, luminescent. I'm just, I can't move. I'm in an animation, dude. I know, I know what I said, Gabrielle. <laughs> you can be a gay girl. really loud for me suddenly. Mm. 
Huey, you're kind of cock blocking me, dude. Let us in. Come on, lovely. Yeah. Come on, lovely hand. It looked very inviting, Miz. It's like a kid asking a teacher a question. Oh, yes, Huey. Smack her head in, Huey. Just really sad is these people would probably just kill Huey, wouldn't they? If it was real life. I just want to go and see what the hand wants. Okay. It just feels like this game is going to be a lot longer. <laughs> like, if there was not as many chase sequences, I suppose this game... Actually, saying that, um, I bet speedruns of this game are really interesting to watch. Hydrate, thank you, I will hydrate. Uh, what was she looking at? Wait, what she... What she was looking right at when... Your when she walked back. Uh, what part Norwegian? Thank you, Sip. Oh. <laughs> no. I just kicked that. Oh yeah, I forgot. She's hallucinated. She knows where you're at all the time. She has wall hacks on. I think so. Let her spank you. She just did and she was really lewd and nearly got me banned, so. Huey. Huey, I need you to get her off my ass, please, because I'm about to go into panic mode and I'm not using a thing. in the mirror. Okay, I'm dead. Cool. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Lewd. She kicked that door. I know, we went flying. I might be wrong. What part was it, Norwegian? Because I didn't see her do it. Where was we standing? Alright, babe. Hello, how are you? Good. Do you follow my channel so we can reach te a thousand? Are you? Is that self advertising? I'm so confused. What? Is that the thing you want me to say? Or are you self advertising? I don't. I never know with you, Gabrielle. I never know if you're trolling or if you're. I don't know. For me, okay. Um, and what language is it, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? Rip me apart, queen. Yo, naughty. It is very naughty. Napa is a person of culture. <laughs> Daniela's voice actor may have been a 
lot of fun in the sound booth. Yeah, I I want to know who who did the voice because <laughs> I think she did a very good job. Creation. Oh, cool. I'm plugging your channel. Thank you. Um, bok kakosi dobro ti dobro. Uh, Sabrati mi canal da do demo do ten thousand pratipelja. Yeah? I probably absolutely butcher that. I always butcher everything. Okay, third time lucky. Can you not luminescent? Who's your favourite Super Mario character? Who mine? Daisy. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I said ja and then I went yeah. <laughs> Cause you never say J's. J -j -j -j. Oh no. Leave me alone, please. Leave me alone, please. Can we go up here? No. Yeah means yes in Norway. Oh, okay. There you go. I learned someone else. Mario door. Did I not do a very good job, Gabriel? That means yes in Croatian. I should probably chill out, just stand still for a minute, let her relax. Relax. Take it easy. Who's everyone else's favourite Super Mario character? Thank you for liking my tweet on Twitter, Rex. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. I just not got a notification. Mystery hand, tell me your secrets. He wants something. He says he wants some sort of plant because it looks like he rips it apart underneath. There's an opening in the thicket. It looks just big enough for an animal to get in. Oh well. Go, Huey. Go, I have Huey. just the animal. If he's around, is he around? Huey. Come on. Come on. Birdo, yo. Come on. Trust me, for first time it's nine thousand times better than another guy. Oh well that's good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Dry bones. It's a good character. I tell I s must say, if I had a capture card or whatever you call it to Go. stream um from my Go. switch <laughs> are you kidding me daniela i just want to solve the puzzle han please just let me please <laughs> Oh, Huey set up a cutscene. Yo. Oh, no he didn't. She did. <gasps> Whoa! just happened relax <laughs> relax don't do it <laughs> when you want to go do it creation is a hard language it's in the top 10 hardest languages in the world yeah i can imagine number 15 croatian foot lettuce the last thing you'd expect to find in your creation wait i can do it better <clears throat>
Me and my brother do this all the time. Number 15, the last thing you'd expect to find in your Burger King burger is foot lettuce. <laughs> it's so great. I love that. Daniela, no. Huey did good. She, she, I think Huey hid in the bush and like ambushed her. If she kills Huey, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> no, she didn't kill. I think she, he ripped her apart. Huey is beast. What does the comment say? Let's see. Because it didn't show us the violence, did it? You are just full of tricks, aren't you, boy? You just backstepped his attack. What are you, a stunt dog or something? More important. Did it? Does that mean her attack? You just backstepped her attack. What are you, a stunt dog or something? More importantly, where did you learn to do that? Where is she? Is she like legit dead? Oh, Huey. Do you, are you gonna bring me something? She's gone. Okay, so he's just. Go! Go! Is that what that is? It's just the thing Come on. for him to jump at her, I guess. Oh, okay, that's all that was. Okay, cool. Uh, her body is now gone, however, so... Oh! God. Ambush! Bara ba ba ra ba Jungle, how are you? Did you guys know that Huey is not a cat? I didn't know. Now, the more you know. Kitty is a kitty. He's what? Uh, yeah, his. She wrote his. I almost typed that too. <laughs> I think Fiona is a little illiterate like me. Yeah, she did that wrong, didn't she? Time for third stalker, I guess. I don't think she's a dead. I think there should be, there's going to be like a showdown of some kind. Uh, like a bit like the other one. <laughs> Huey, why are you sad for, honey? Great minds. No, no, don't encourage each other, you two. Absolutely not. Huey is a puma. Jungle, how are you today? Okay, nothing here. Nothing for us. Go, Huey. Keeping my mouth shut. Yeah. Lifeblood. Maybe I thought maybe we could maybe take some of Daniela's lifeblood. Oh, this is the belly graveyard, is it? Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything out here. Nothing left. Let's go back, I guess. You can't tell Come us what on. to do, Kitty. Oh, I absolutely can not. You are right. Okay guys, thoughts so far, are we liking the game? Are we liking the streamer you're watching? Like, I just let's, let, let's get some feedback. Are you like, who the fuck? Is this annoying person playing my favorite game? What, what's the vibe? What's the vibe? Uh, okay. No, I don't want to climb up there really because... See, I'm a little bit disappointed because I was hoping that. Come on. We would find an item out there. However, that doesn't seem to be. Oh. <laughs> Things don't sound so good, do they, guys? What's my favorite Black Eyed Peas song? Great fucking question. Um really hard to pick i think i've got a feeling because it reminds me of when i was like uh like 18 and i was just like you know you'd go to house parties and stuff and that song would come on and you'd just be like yeah oh oh it's all changed go this isn't where it took me before is it This is a new room now. Uh, oh, you solved that. Yes. 
let's get it started. Good, yeah, good jam, good jam. You finally decrypted Drago Enigma. Uh, you mean the crossword? I didn't solve it. Did someone help you? With what, Gabrielle? Ew, the music is fucked up carousel room. I think the carousel's turned. You were 18. Wait, you're not 18 right now. <sighs> Guys, actually, that brings up a good point. No, I'm not. And when am I going to retire? Because... <laughs> from streaming guys when, when's when's retirement age for a streamer okay this is like a torture room i shouldn't have run on that come on an iron maiden yo huge spikes just from the inside of the iron maiden rendering the device usable as a hiding oh it, you can't use it i am um, Recently, Rasky played a game that I played when I was younger called Death by Degrees. And if you guys don't know what Death by Degrees is, you might have heard of Tekken. Uh, it's a game about the girl character in Tekken called Nina Williams. And it's her own sort of like spin-off thing. And it's a really great game. It's one of my favorite games ever. Um, and in that area, I mean, this, actually, this room actually really reminds me of that game because there's a torture room. And... Um, when I was a kid, I, there was an Iron Maiden in the corner and I didn't know what it said. There's an Iron Maiden or whatever it said. And I didn't know what an Iron Maiden was. Oh, she probably can turn them on and spike me. Um, and I, I remember asking my mum what an Iron Maiden was and she told me. And I, I just remember like being a kid and like being told something like that. It was like really imaginative, you know. Uh, t -t 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 good pick. Pump it for me. Pump it's a good one. Yeah, it like probably gets you humped. Pumped. Why did I say humped? Oh my god, I hate myself. <laughs> uh, it's been a long day, guys. Forgive. Uh, have you tried the Sims Herbs? Sims Herbs? I had that. Oh, Huey stood on it. Huey stood on it. Uh, that was my other thought as a 73-year-old. Have you considered retiring? Yeah, I... I, just, I I don't know, what's the acceptable age for a streamer? Never streaming till you're Queen Lizzie's age, yo, can you imagine? Nina has her own spin-off game. I played it once at Cousins and Megalol. Are you actually asking X? Because yes, she does, and I love that game. And since watching Rasky replay it recently, it's made me really, really want to stream it because <gasps> I love it. Naughty girl. Uh, it's, sorry, I did mean to, I, oh wait, no, wait. I didn't read it properly. I Sorry, guys. I didn't actually mean to say hump. I meant to say pump. There are traces that suggest this person was heavily tortured. There's something hanging from his neck. Yeah, fuck it. Take it. We're going to die, but it's okay. Oh, that's for the door. Thank you for the host. Hi, how are you? Oh, I played it on PS2. One of my fave games on PS2. There's some Black Eyed Peas and Pussycat Dolls songs in there, but it's a Simlish version. Yo, The Sims is a great game. I used to stream The Sims, actually. We made all of our, um, all of the people from Discord and stream got a character. It was really cool. Uh, you can also meet them there. Oh, wow. Yo, 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 panic. Good thanks, how are you? I am very well, thank you very much for asking. Just playing a bit of Haunting Ground this evening on this fine day. How has your Wednesday been? Um, okay, I would quite like to save my game. Um, but I don't know if we're going to be able to find a save point. Oh, she's back.
It's just amusing how she just throws herself into objects in panic mode. I know, right? She just like flies into it. Oh lord, she bait. We're all dead in the sims now. Do you know what? I'm so sad. My sims uninstalled and it took all the save data with it, which is the only reason why I haven't come back to playing it, which is really sad times. Lag. It's becoming a bit of a labyrinth now. Oh gosh. This is not where I wanted to be. Lord, she back. My PC was at the shop overnight, so I got it back today. Got a new motherboard and then streamed some painting. <gasps> nice. I saw your painting earlier. It was beautiful. You got a new motherboard. Nice one. Nicey, nicey. Daniela must have a crush on Fiona. Mm. Absolutely, she has a crush on Fiona. Yeah. Second, Gabrielle, how old are you? Because you keep talking about school and it's just occurred to me. How old are you? mode now I wanted my um what am I running into I'm gonna die 18 okay I was gonna say because this is an over 18 stream only so unfortunately I might have had to have we don't want all this sound please game thank you because we don't want to get banned yeah Okay. That's annoying because uh, the save was before she got jumped by Doggo, so. Annoying. Whoop, whoop. Yes, if your teacher wants to kill you, that is definitely a problem. Uh, hi, Jungle. Thank you. No, it's beautiful. It's an absolute. If you guys are in the Discord, check out in the art channel because Izzy posted a picture of her beautiful art. It's lovely. Lovely. Bloody lovely, I tell you. Go and play which project panic mode. We've got panic. Hi, Dim. How you doing? Mood. I think I broke the rules when I joined then. <laughs> yes. Um. I. Go. I've definitely got more strict Go. with it as I've been streaming Go. longer. Go. But I know you Go. were. Go. You were not 18, Morgie. But I have got more strict with it now. Come on. Because I do swear a lot and I do talk about stuff Go that here. I shouldn't. And um, I don't know if you remember when you used to do I used to be like, oh, Morgie, I'm so sorry I shouldn't talk like that and stuff. Go, Huey. Still around. Thank you. girl gets freaked out so much. <laughs> it's a good way to narrow down trolls to be fair. Yeah true, I do find that the younger viewers can be very trolly uh, so it, it's just sort of easier to 
and you know it's sad because obviously you know morgan you were very sensible when you joined and you know you were very uh lovely to have as part of our community um but i do find that there are a lot of people who are go huey who seem to just be under that 18 mark go, and they're very immature you know Ooh. i'm always telling my parents if i hear someone swear <laughs> Uh, oh, that's cute. She's got control. Go, Huey. I remember it used to be all Go, Huey. good though. Yeah, no, I do you remember I used to worry so much. He's like, Morgie, I shouldn't Go, speak Huey. like that. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. And I used to, and I think I used to censor myself a lot. And I thought to myself, do you know what? It's probably easier if I just say Go. like a sort of blanket ban on, on, Go. on that age, you know? Go. Go. So that I can relax as well. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I don't remember any kind of swear from you. Who, me? Yeah, I swear. I, I think as well, we all make kind of like jokes as well, don't we? Like kind of lewd jokes and stuff like that. So I think it's not really the place for someone who's under 18. Ban them all. I'm really intrigued to what the hand may give us if we gift it something. Yeah, me too. Apparently it wants some sort of plant because it says it's ripped it up. We can skip this because we've seen it. Huey. You're talking about immature and I'm here adding sunglasses to your kitten like an adult. <laughs> no, I, and the thing is, is like, I didn't, I think it was hard when I first started as well. I was like, uh, so what, it was like four or five years ago, whatever, when I started streaming. So I was a bit younger, a bit naive, a bit immature. I didn't really think about things uh, like in a, I think about like stream in a different way now. I've grown up a lot, you know? Um, I think as a streamer, it's our responsibility to protect uh, people on the internet who are too young to really probably be on the internet doing things so i think it's important that you put in place things to protect people you know i um that's why i have my stream set as mature and obviously if someone chooses to join even though i've said it as mature and they're not of that age like there's not really anything i can do about that however i can make it very clear that that this is a stream for over 18 only. Uh, when I say school, I mean Croatia's primary school from 6 to 15. Yeah, no. I am incomplete. Come on. Back when you were 13 years old. <laughs> we did. Nobody is prepared for the internet. No, exactly. I, I, I agree with you on that one because I, when I first started streaming, I made silly mistakes i was not as careful with my like personal life and identity as i am now i didn't really think about like what um what i was saying about certain things like um you know about like personal life and like keeping things private and i just i think a lot of things I've grown up. I think in some ways there's still a lot to learn, but I think that when I first started, I sometimes beat myself up a little bit because I'm like, oh, I can't believe I used to be like that. But, you know, we all learn and we all live. Sometimes you think you've seen it all and yet the internet can always surprise you. It's so true. It's so true. And putting yourself out there on the internet is kind of like, it's kind of a scary thing. It's very exposing, you know, and it's very... Um, you, you are quite vulnerable. You are. And I think that, um... Help! Good boy, Huey. You are very vulnerable. And I think that, um, you... What items have I picked up? Have I picked up any? I just think you think about things differently the longer you do something, you know? And a decision that I decided to make was no under 18s. Uh, as you guys, I want I want the people in the stream as well to feel comfortable about like making jokes and stuff as well. Um, I want them you to I want you guys to feel like you can make 
whatever jokes you want and it's in a safe environment for you to do that and then I also want any minors on the internet to not be exposed to that as well you know and I, I guess actually Morgie it, it does bring up a point that I, I do sometimes feel bad that I mean this is really it's really hard because I am so happy that you joined our community. I'm so happy. Um, because you are a wonderful person in this community and you have been for a really long time. But obviously when you joined, you were I think you were 16, right? I think you were 16. And I just feel like I did try and like protect you in the, in the sense that I tried to like tone down any jokes that people were making and jokes that I made. I tried to sense myself, but yeah, sometimes I feel a bit bad that I didn't do more to take care of you. And sometimes I do feel a bit bad about that. Genuinely, I do. <laughs> I know that sounds really silly, but I do. I, I worry that um, like people are making lewd jokes around you. And obviously, as I've got older now, I, I do just feel awful. Um, sometimes you uh, no, I've seen that. What do you work as, Kitty? I have three jobs. Um, I've got one in the healthcare sector. I have a job where I teach kids, and I have a job where um, I have my own business where I do art commissioning. Um, he has perfect teeth. I know his teeth are horrible. Try catch from his back. I remember a couple of times some viewer arrived to stream and said, hey, mind your language, please. My kid loves this game. So I'm letting them watch and I'm like, but the stream is set up as 18 plus since day one. Yeah, it, it makes it difficult, doesn't it? Uh, that's dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Tiki, I'm the type of person you can laugh with at, but never hurt their friends. Oh, that's good. <laughs> baby Morgie. I know. He was just a little baby. <laughs> Kitty, I've checked the deer reflective no not yet I haven't had a look jungle 16 G is almost 21 now my lord I know time is gone it has flown it has flown oh my god no don't feel bad I was used to everything that would happen on stream and I was super fine with it yeah no I know and um I I don't know I I think it's just me as your friend like just oh hello Miss Fiona Oh my, what a filthy little princess. A small present from the Lord of the Manor. Oh. I didn't even mean to run into her. Oops. Miss, it's cleaning time now. Okay, sorry. Okay, bye. That was very strange. You never have a day off. Um, <laughs> good question. I don't think you can look at the moose, by the way, jungle. Um, do I have a day off? I work my healthcare job Tuesday to Friday. I I do my uh, kid teaching job on a Saturday, and then Sunday and Monday, yeah, I'm doing my commission art business. So. <laughs> Huey, whoa, what a filthy princess you are. Day offs don't exist when you work for yourself as a freelancer. Yeah, it's true. I teach kids, nice. I do, I do teach kids. <laughs> Lucky kids. We well, don't know how good of a teacher I am. Daniela's like a cat. She craves attention when you're busy, but then when you want to talk to her, she's like, I'm cleaning, bugger off. It's so true. Like, hey, I'm trying to solve a puzzle and she's like all over me. I wonder if these doors can be opened now, because we're in this other world. Oh, look at that, I was right. Oh, that's awful. That's an awful statue. Oh, that's awful. Can you see it behind me? That oh no, am I blocking? No, I think you can see it, can't you? That's horrible. Uh... Miss. Miss. Ah, look at this. The doors are open. I see, Daniela, I kind of want to read chat now, but you're kind of interfering. So now we can go and find whatever's in there. That's cool. Get out of here. <laughs> Tight schedule. Yeah, I I mean I consider um 
streaming as part of my uh, freelancer business as well. Oh, she's locked it. Cool. Um, so my art commission business and my streamer uh, time is sort of like combined. If you know what I mean. So it's all kind of part of it. I know you're a good teacher. I concur. Lucky kids. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Yeah, it's just like that emo. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, she went for the double swing. Womp womp. By the way, just going to tell you this. Okay, but yeah, do you remember I said if you do another tip, we're going to ban you? Do you remember that? So she bugs you with the puzzle, and then when you try and bother her when she's cleaning, she shuts you down right away. Absolutely like a cat. I agree with what Izzy said. Have you seen the elephant eyes are following you? They are, I know, it's very scary. This luminescence is going to smack me. Huey, wait. It's not a tip. Hmm. Oh, Daniela, please. Can I just have some private time? I'm trying to work out a labyrinth, madam. Oh, dear. We are now... Me. Yes. I know, but I just don't want to know anything about it, that's all. Take the last bitty for Daniela being an ass. <laughs> Morgie, thank you for the bit. I appreciate that. She is being a little ass. Look at her. She's right on our booty, and Huey is nowhere to be seen. Thank you so much, Morgie. Thank you. I'll give you love heart uh, once I have got away from this whammon. Has she done the puzzle? Exactly. But what an ass. <laughs> Gotta eat dinner. Love and hugs to you all. Thank you uh, for chilling out. I appreciate it. Enjoy your food. Yeah. I need Huey really badly. We're gonna die here, but it's okay. It's okay. I don't even have any uh, lavender. Oh, I keep running into this bloody room. Getting on my nerves a little bit, Han. We're gonna have a panic attack. We need Huey. I don't know where he is. Oh, I've just run into the same place. Just kill me. It's fine. Just kill me. Just kill me. Yep, you just fall over, Han. That's good. Look, just kill me. It's all good. It's all good. Enjoy dinner. Huey said, see you babes later. Yeah, where the hell is Huey? He's really let us down here. There he is. Get her. Please, Huey. Please, 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 Huey. Just kill. Just bite her. Bite her. Please, just bite her. She sounded like she hit him. If she had not done the puzzle yet, you don't need to tell her anything about it. Even if it's not a tip, it'll go under the spoiler category. I don't know how how else to say it to him, Norwegian, because it's been like four streams now, and I'm sure I've really just made it clear. 
Don't you have a conceivable that calms you down? No, I don't have any lavender, unfortunately. Look, there's a mirror. Look. Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Come here. Look in the mirror. Huey! Huey! Great. Thanks, Huey. Real, real cool dog. Thank you. Okay, Gabrielle, right. Look, I think I've made it so clear to you now. I'm just going to ignore everything you say that is just within that territory. Like, you've been able to speak to us today about, like, other stuff, which has been really nice, actually, and it's been really nice to have you in here talking about other stuff, but I'm just going to ignore it now. I'm just going to ignore it. So I won't be reading out things you say that's like, can I give you a tip? Can I tell you where to go? Can I give you a, you know, a hint of what's coming up? I'm just not going to read it. I'm just going to ignore it. And if it just keeps going on, I just will just ask my mod to just straight up ban you. Because I've had enough. I've had enough of your bullshit, sir. Stop, please. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> Help! Regina when she gets grabbed by the dinosaur. Oh my god, I realize this entire game is like Ashley mission from Resident Evil 4. It's Resident Evil 4, but you're Ashley. Ashley, stop moaning, kitty. What am I moaning at, Sip? What am I moaning at? What's she laughing at? Oh, it was the game. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? What's she laughing at? I, I, assuming uh, the murder of us, unfortunately. I, I kind of would just like to look around the castle new layout before she decides to come and stab me in the butt. That would be awesome. Just to get an idea of my new layout. See, she's in here. Or around. Thanks. Well, it's still more okay than the disturbing sounds when Shrek kills Fiona. That's true. They sound more um, sexual when it's Daniela. Okay, so this is the room. No, Luminescent, please, sir. This is the room that... Oh, sorry, Huey, you can come in. Let's push Daniela in the little spike room. We can flip the level. <gasps> yes, let's trap her in the Iron Maiden. Yo, big plans. Oh, do you think Huey can take the key? Go. 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 No, I don't think Huey can. I thought maybe he could jump on him and take the key. Is this like a forced moment where Daniela has to come, I'm assuming? nice to Daniela. She's a doll. She's a doll. Yeah, mistake. You have my permission now to just, like, whatever. Three strikes. It's been now. It's all good in the hood. I just think some people just want attention and negative attention is, is attention to them. Yeah, I saw the coloured keys jungle, I know. I think there is going to be a puzzle with them later, but I don't think it's something we can do as of yet. Get dunked on. Yo, no more nice kitty community. Oh, she's not here now. So we can't get the item. Oh. Go. Great, our friend's here. 
Yeah. What a cute bird. I know, it's so little. Go. I don't think she's in here. I think she's out around the gate area. I lied. items I'm not sure so innocent <laughs> lol I lied <laughs> I lied she's here just kidding please don't come this way go that way good girl clever girl oh you whore where to hide because she's just gonna find me everywhere I go now because she knows all my hiding spots now she won't look in the mirror she won't hide there Huey isn't, like, doing anything. Oh my god. We're having a raid, guys. Je Lil Jen. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, raiders. Thank you so much. Hi. Glitter attack. Take all the sparkles. Jen, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. Come on in. Hi, raiders. My name's Kitty. Hello, hello. Um, I... I'm playing a little bit of Haunting Ground tonight. It's a first time playthrough. Uh, Jen, thank you. What was you playing? What, what was you What was you streaming? Hello, everybody. Hello. What a surprise! A nice surprise. Say hello. <laughs> yeah, guys. Let's give a warm welcome to everybody. Fatal Frame Three. Oh my gosh. Fatal Frame is actually a game that I would love to uh, give a go because I've never actually tried Fatal Frame. Uh, how are you finding it? And um, I've never played Haunting Ground either. But I wonder if you have. Have you ever played Haunting Ground? Oh, it's your favorite game? Oh my gosh, so you know everything. <laughs> yeah, this is a completely blind playthrough. Um, I know a couple of things about it because I've, um, I've seen sort of videos and things on it but um yeah it's it's a it's a new experience for me unfortunately you've joined just as daniela is on our butt so good boy we just gotta get away from her Hi Prey Purge, how are you? Welcome, welcome, come on in. All the sparkles, guys, give up your sparkles. They're here now. <laughs> welcome, yeah, welcome. Oh, it was really great, you should play them, really. I love seeing people play it for the first time. Yeah, I I mean, a what, Haunting Ground? Okay, because I am a complete, like, oh, I just turned my game up, sorry. Um, Let me just turn it down. Um, I've I'm a, I'm a complete noob, so I was just wondering if you if you like watching people who are very good at this game. Unfortunately, it's not <laughs> it's not going to be me. But um, yeah, Fatal Frame. Have you played all of the Fatal Frames or just uh, just three? Please don't come this way, please, please, please. please. I just wanna I wanna have a little explore. Go on, Daniela, off your pop. Nope, you're gonna come down here, are you? 
No, yep, nothing here. Nothing here. Off your pot. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a stick up. Yep, it's a stick up, guys. Give up your sparkles. Jen's community is here. Um, well, I'll have to come check you out, Jen. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate that. Uh, let me see if I can follow you through my chat bot. Can I, am I, will you let me, Twitch? Let me give you a follow, straight up follow, and I will be sure to come and check out Fatal Frame 3 because it is something that I would absolutely love to play. But thank you so much for choosing me uh, to raid. It's very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, we started playing one, but sadly my save file got lost. No, and it was a bit of a scruffy time, but two was great. And three is my fave until now. Oh, okay. So, oh, oh, lovely. I mean, I would love to, basically I'm trying to do, oh, she's gone. That's good. Basically, I'm trying to do some, like a series at the moment where I play sort of horror games that I've always wanted to play, but never got around to playing because I love horror games and I love all kinds of horror games. I think they're brilliant. Um, but I've played the Silent Hills. I've played Resident Evil. I've played, you know, the sort of thing that, um, the, the main ones but there's always been horror games that I've always wanted to play um, Jen thank you so much for the follow Jim welcome sandwich. come on in we Jim do have a discord if you'd like to join just give Jim us a shout oh, and I will send a invite oh, your sandwich. way um, but no yeah I'm having a lot of fun playing games that I've never played before I actually downloaded Fatal Frame a series with Long and Silent Hill yo have you ever played it Norwegian can you play Fatal Frame? I think Fatal Frame is actually a really good one. Siren is another game that I've always wanted to play. Fatal Frame Marathon. Yo. <laughs> yes, Alec. I'm down for horror games. Yes, queen. We love a horror game queen around here, don't we, guys? <laughs> yeah, but I'm sh I'll be sure to check you out because I would love to actually check out a little bit of Fatal Frame. Yo, Liddy, play Siren. Yeah, I Siren is another one that I've really wanted to play for a really, really long time. I think I played one of them as a kid, but I don't remember which. Siren is good. Ooh, okay. Siren is a recommendation, is it? Siren, I've never played myself, but Solar Rivers and wow, that looks so creepy. Me too. This is the thing. There's so many games out there that I just never managed to get my hands on and never got around to playing. And I watch other people play it and I'm like, why have I never played this? This looks amazing, you know? This, this game I've been wanting to play for like the last 10 years. I kid you not, 10 years I've wanted to play it. A stuffed chimera is showing off its fierce gaze. Why would anyone decorate a room with something this hideous? Oh, Huey. um, Huey, come here. Huey. You can't find us. I think that's what that owl means, if I had to guess. Oh, Danielle is coming back. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, Danielle is coming back. She's coming. She's looking for us. Uh, oh my, our props have been playing Haunting Ground for 10 years. Really? Yeah, I I saw it uh, on YouTube once, t like 10 years ago, and I was like, oh my god, this game looks incredible. But um, I managed to avoid spoilers, because I was like, one day I'm literally going to play it. I'm going to find a way to play it, and I'm going to do it. Um, and yeah, so it's just been nice to just delve into this world because honestly like like the dog mechanic was really interesting another one that's really um always interested me but i don't think i'd be able Go to Huey. play it is um can Huey get this out of its mouth Go maybe Huey. um obviously not um was rule of rose because that was another one where you could have a dog and you uh, it was a similar sort of vibe but apparently rule of rose is like really hard to play uh, with the gameplay mechanics and stuff Siren Blood Curse is only on PS3. Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. Shh, shh, shh. What's the matter? No, 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 no. Come here. What's the matter? Come on. Let's Come go on. in there. Let's go back in here. We shut this. I know. She's near. I know. It's okay. Good boy. It's okay. I know she's coming. I know. Oh, I can pick it up? Oh. <laughs> Is it an item or a special? It's just an item. Uh, you can, I know that game, like the back of my hand. Oh, really? What, um, 
yeah no I, it's a great yeah it's great but you can play it with a p- p- uh you can play it with playstation now but you need a good enough internet oh i see so happy you now get to try it out and yeah that's so good the atmosphere the story it's all just feels so great yeah no um that's another game that's very hard to come across very expensive if you find it exactly rule of rose is very expensive fighting mechanics of rule of rose is awful i know and i feel like it's a game that's better to watch which is such a shame because the atmosphere of rule of rose is just beautiful what's wrong with wolfie <laughs> uh rule of rose norwegian yeah yeah uh hi to bell how are you welcome to the stream Izu, yeah, what's up, Izu? Uh, guys, Jen sounds like she is like totally into horror games as well. If you're not following Jen, maybe go check her out because she's been kind enough to give us a raid this evening. Um, and if she's into horror games, aren't we all? So go say hi. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, as I say, we do have a Discord if you, if you would like to join where we just talk about uh video games and things all day there's also a horror game called q q1 that is very expensive to get a lot of playstation 2 era horror is is quite expensive to get your hands on i don't want to leave the room because huey's going mental here she comes miss we're gonna get whacked by the door boys and girls Good boy. <gasps> nope, she's gonna find me there. was hoping to find a save point to be honest uh discord yeah if you'd like an invite jen uh one of my mods is like you're oh yeah uh jen did follow mistake join the discord love to discuss some games and all yes well you are very welcome very welcome Mistake, could you send uh, Jen a invite to the Discord, por favor? Door knocked Fiona off her feet. I know, we went flying, didn't we? She, <laughs> it's a bird, it's a plane. <laughs> uh, she's so bloody extra with the door. I know, right? Those behind Dark Souls series. Oh, Dark Souls. I, I like uh, the lore of Dark Souls. I think it's really interesting. <laughs> but I don't know if I have the patience to play Dark Souls. Sorry guys, I'm sort of just doing loops with Daniela because I'm sort of um, talking to chat, unfortunately. Sorry. It's not the most interesting gameplay. Are you a fan of Pointing Grant? Yes, good question. You checked my profile, didn't you? <laughs> I got it. Yeah, thank you, Mistake. Thank you. I've never played any Dark Souls. My brother loves Dark Souls and he tells me all about like the lore of the, the monsters and things and there are some really gorgeous like stories in um in Dark Souls. It's beautiful. Sekiro. Yeah, that looks like a great game. Yo, she just came over to hit Huey. What a rude ho. Oh, I wanna kick her. Do you know what? It's fucking worth it. It's worth it. Don't do that. Bitch. I don't even care, it's worth it. She hit Huey. <laughs> I'm not having it, guys. I'm not having it. Absolutely not having it. <laughs> Huey. My baby. Let's hide here. And hopefully we can lose her. <laughs> Poor Daniela. No, she Miss. she hurt Huey. She's seen me. That's what that noise means. The 
thing. Gosh, she's getting a bit relentless, isn't she? I just kind of, I kind of would like to save the game. That's what I would quite like to do. If possible. Oh, yes, you fall over, Fiona. Take your time. Don't insult Daniela in front of Jenny. We love Daniela. We, we simp for Daniela. Milk, welcome to the stream. Milko Milkstar, welcome to the stream. It's nice to meet you. Hello. You kick the dog, we make you kick the bucket. Yes, kick her. <laughs> we do like Daniela, but also you can't be stabbing doggo. You just can't, I'm afraid. Uh, Yeg. Oh, Yeg Elska Huey. How did I do with that one? Oh, they don't like the light. Oh, that's what that sound is. Got you, got you. Danny is waifu. Yeah, as soon as she came on the screen, these guys were just like wild simps out there, Jen. They, they loved a bit of Daniela. Uh, I have a joke for you. I used to hate facial hair, but then it grew on me. But um, but <laughs> Sinna, how are you? I didn't see you say hello in the middle there. Hi, Sinna. How are you this evening? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Uh, I see your chat has taste. <laughs> She's hot. They went mental. Absolutely mental. She's hot and crazy. <laughs> Guys, I would love to go on all night, but I have work tomorrow, unfortunately. I, as I say, Twitch, make me partner just for one evening so I can keep going. But unfortunately, I do have to end. I do, I do. I don't want to, but I have to. I have to get some sleep to work. Um, but guys, if you have come in from Jen's raid, welcome for one. And also, again, thank you, Jen. You are amazing for picking us. Thank you so much. Um, my name is Kitty and I stream on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I don't know what countries you guys are from, but I stream at 7 p.m. UK time. If you go in my schedules bar down below, it should, Twitch told me it should tell you in your own time zone when I go live. Um, I've been very ill, sorry for being absent. Sinner, oh my God, are you okay? What are you feeling? Oh my. About time you got here, Sinna. Oh, Sinna, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm happy to find such a nice place here. Jen, absolutely uh, lovely community here. They, these are a great bunch and they um, they will always make everyone feel welcome. So thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for choosing us. It's been nice to meet you. Absolutely lovely. So thank you, thank you. Um, I will definitely drop by and we hope to see you guys around again. We try, Jen. <laughs> great stream, Kitty. Great stream. Guys, thank you. You guys have been so like lovely and... Um, hung out with me tonight and it's been so fun i've had a lot of fun thank you so much um i always have a lot of fun streaming this game and you guys just make it even more 10 times the fun uh it's 10 48 here oh so you're like an hour in front of us i can hear myself speaking sorry let me move that over there um i've been knocked out for a week uh getting better though oh sinna please just keep drinking fluids and stuff oh, i'm so sorry me is from Germany, so only one hour difference. Oh my god, okay, you're from Germany, hang on. Wie geht's dir? That's probably really bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, thanks for stream, thanks for being here, guys. Uh, just a little shout out to everybody um, for being here as well. But Ghosty Naps, thank you so much for the host. X, thank you for resubscribing for 25 months, I really appreciate that. Mistake, thank you for gifting a sub to Ghosty Naps. Thank you so much, you guys are insane. Izzy, thank you for the host. Morgie, thank you for the bit. And Jen, thank you so much for the raid and the follow and the lovely company. Thank you so much. Um, thanks for the stream. Jenny, German Queen. Mir geht's gut, danke. Wie geht's dir? Mir geht es gut, danke. That's all I know. <laughs> and it's probably really bad. I'm so happy I can use that phrase. <laughs> She'll be back. Ta -ta -ta. 
uh, it was very good pronounced. Oh, good. Thank goodness. <laughs> um, I don't think anybody else is uh, streaming um, Haunting Ground, unfortunately. So I don't think we're able to send a host anyone's way. But if anyone would like to guide the raid, do let me know. And it was very good pronounced. Oh, good. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, that's all the German I know, but I always get really happy when I can use it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a shame no one streams Haunting Ground, isn't it? Because it was correctly it's, pronounced. It's correctly pronounced. <laughs> I was so confused why I was hearing my own voice for a second. It's such a shame that nobody streams Haunting Ground. It's so good, isn't it? Let's see if anyone is streaming my favorite horror game. Let's see. Sweet dreams, sweet dreams. Jonah! 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 Thank you for streaming. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much again, Jen. Thank you. Um, and I would definitely drop by. Do you have like a schedule? Uh, guys, I will be back on Friday um, to play some more uh, haunting ground we've had a lot of fun we've got to have a lot of fun um i'm having Ain't so much wait. fun playing this game i need a wee a ridiculous amount of fun but um yeah unfortunately no one i know is live which is really sad but uh, we can't spread the love this evening do you know i think i might be i, I might actually be welsh, welsh. <laughs> you guys get your spams out I stream whenever I have free time, feel like it, so no, but should start one. Well, I absolutely, um, I will pop maybe notifications on um, so that I can get like an alert on my phone. Guys, just, yeah, uh, as I say, go say hi to Jen if you get the chance. Go say hello. Uh, but I will be back on Friday with some more Haunting Ground. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out, chilling with me. You guys always make it fun. Um... Gosh, my brain just has gone blank because I've just, I think I've hit that point where I'm so tired now. It's time for beard. Bye bye, bitch. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, have a good one. Uh, see you soon. See you on Friday. Bye bye now. Bye bye.